Hi everyone, uh, this is Lakshman. Uh, welcome to our YouTube channel. So in this video, I am going to cover Java program to perform basic calculator operation. So whenever you think about a calculator means, so it do some basic operations like the addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So to implement this basic calculator operation, so I am going to open my Eclipse ID. Right click on the class. I am going to create a one class. The class name is any name. I can give any name. So I am giving calculator demo. Select public static void name. Click on finish button. So here our program structure. We need to write here can class equal to new. Scanner. Why this scanner class means uh, it is used to read input values uh, to read input from keyboard. Okay, so this is a predefined class. Uh, that's why you need to import this predefined class. Right? Next, Cisco system dot enter uh, two numbers. Now uh, I'm taking a double data type, double first equal to next to double, double second I'm taking one more to so enter any operator. operator. Right, so press minus operation this thing okay now to check the any operator we need to store that operator by using cat see that next dot carrot i zero so I will explain everything line by line after writing the program then I'm, I'm taking one more data type I'm storing uh, result in the data type so I'm taking the speech. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Result equal to result equal to first first to second. Okay. And break. Okay. We need to repeat the same code for four times. That's why I'm copying here. Yeah. Okay, we need to replace this one minus this minus. Last one to return. Okay, if we any uh, if we did not match any operator, then we need to write a default value uh, in default and uh, to mention like uh, incorrect operator. Okay, so just to return this one if any incorrect bracket. So next, next we need to. Uh, display the output here. Okay, so okay, to display output, uh, percentage dot one f, uh, percentage e, percentage dot one f equal to percentage dot one f. So first, uh, we need to pass variable here. We have second and the result. Okay. So uh, we did not do here print alarm. Instead of print alarm, we have to give print alarm because here we are giving float value. So I um, mean double value. Okay. So okay. So 
whether it is reaching our expression results or not. First, let me uh, run this program. Uh, run this program. Okay, enter two numbers. So enter any operator. I'm giving the addition operator. Yes. So our expected result will help. Okay. So this is the uh, process uh, to implement the basic calculator operation. So let me explain uh, one by one step. So I'm creating the class calculator demo. Okay. The next uh, main method will be execute. After that. So the scanner class will be executed. Why we are in scanner class means it is used to read the input values from the keyboard. Next, I am taking one um, feature system dot computer. Enter two numbers. So those numbers are if you enter big numbers, that's why I am taking data type as a double to accept uh, to to read big numbers, large numbers. So to do that, I am accepting double data type and then enter any operator after that so to read any operator we are going to store in character uh, data type so caret we are using caret means uh, is used to read the single element okay based on index okay. then i am going to use uh, one uh, a result variable to store the result. After that, I am using switch statement here. So, whenever you enter any operator among this, so it will be going to store in ch variable. That ch variable I have passed here in the parenthesis. Okay, suppose if you uh, enter multiplication, so it jumps into multiplication case. If you enter division, it jumps into division case. Okay, so so here in the case I have given result equal to first and second, and then break statement. The way you are using break statement once once they match the any operator, it will jump into that particular uh, case, and after that it will come out from the switch statement. After executing particular case, if you didn't if you didn't mention any break statement, then the following statement following statements will also execute. So for that we are using break statement. So any cases is not matched, then the default will be executed. So so to see the output, we are giving the system dot order filter. So this is the process to implement it. Uh, the basic calculator operations. Okay, so if you like our videos, so please subscribe to our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and share our videos and likes our videos. So thank you for visiting.